Good morning, students. This is Manoj Kumar, Assistant Professor. So um, we are going with a series of videos on lectures on uh, Python. First, we have studied Python, that is a uh, list, next dictionary, next tuple. Next, we go with uh, NumPy also. So what is NumPy? Numerical Python. Now you go with the next uh, data analysis using pandas. So what is this panda? So why you are going to use it? So in the previous lecture, we go with the NumPy. So NumPy is a numerical Python. Using that, we can do so many operations. Okay. So using NumPy, we have done with uh, various uh, programs and all. So what the NumPy will do? So it is a replacement for the list. So list will, will contain a set of an array of elements, but NumPy will extend the array size. So suppose if you want to get uh, 100, so you can't use the list. So list will uh, store many, very less numbers. But if you want for uh, hundreds, thousand of values uh, inside your array, then you go with the NumPy, okay? So now you come for the next concept that is pandas. So pandas is one of the, inside the Python ecosystem, it is at layer two. So layer one is NumPy, layer two is SkyPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. So that you will see in the previous video in NumPy tutorial, I have given like that. So in the Python ecosystem, first you are having base is NumPy. Yeah, after that you are having SkyPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. So now you come with a second level that is Pandas. So what is this Pandas? Why you are going to use that we will see. So Pandas. So Panda is a data analysis library. So you are going for, there is a data, you are working on that particular data. So that is called as a data analysis library. So it is similar to NumPy, it is also a package, so it is to be installed. Okay, so it is built on top of NumPy, as I told in Python ecosystem. So NumPy will be at the bottom level, next or nearby, you will be having three. SkyPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. So Pandas will be, it will be where? It will be on top of NumPy. What is Pandas? So panel data system. So panel, so take the first uh, three words. Here you go with the uh, two words, then here you take one. So that will be three, two, one. So panel data system, we call it as Pandas. Okay, so used in production in many companies. Okay, so it is the ideal tool for data scientists. So, so data scientists means what they are going to do? Scientists will do research. Okay, so research on cleaning data, managing data, analyzing data, modeling data. So you will be seeing what the partners is going to do it here. Understand? So now you come to the next one. Introduction to partners data structure. Okay, so it is one of the advanced concept what you are going to see. So in the Python data structure, there is a, in Python data structure, we are going with the advanced Python. So there you are going with a, this particular concept that is pandas. So there are two data structures in pandas. One is series, the other one is data frame. Before entering into the pandas, so I am telling you clearly, if you want to understand this pandas and numpy, so in order to numpy, you have to be clear with list, you have to be clear with dictionary, you have to be clear with, with tuples. So new tuples, list and dictionary are very, very important. Okay, so if this two are there, then you can easily understand numpy. Okay, similarly for the pandas, you have to go with a list, tuples, dictionaries, strings. So these four concepts are required to understand the pandas. If you don't know what is list, what is tuple, and what is dictionary, so first you go with that particular videos which are already shared in this particular uh, my channel. Okay, so there is a uh, concepts on list with work work exercises and concept on dictionary with work exercises kindly learn that particular two concepts then you will come to know this pandas understood so there are two data structure one is series the other one is data frame first you go with the series 
what is series it is a one dimensional array so i am again telling you array means how you represent array in python so using list so it is a, again list is required so if you get the list then you can easily understand this pointers okay so how you represent a list list will be represented with array brackets array bracket open array bracket close okay it's a one dimensional array like object containing an array of data and associated array of data labels called its index so it is how many objects here it is containing array like object array like object means list okay so it is containing array like object containing array of data okay and associated array of labels called its index so what they what all will be there one is list of array of data the other one is data labels the simplest series is formed only from only an array of data simple series so how you, what is the series panda series it is so series of values will be there so how you are going to create so see here obj is a variable so okay so obj is equal to series of 4 7 minus 5 3 so here you see there is no index given understanding so you have given only the values so series of inside this you have to give series with index that we will see in the next coming because series will consist of array of data and the other one is index so what is array of data so inside series you are getting this one so this one is called array of data but here there is no index okay so but if you didn't specify index also defaultly the series will assign the index so when you see the output here you see so what is the first array element four four seven minus five three it has assigned the index value zero one two three so zero one two three index values are not given by default it is arranged here understood so now you come for this. now you come for the next one viewing the very values of the variables what is the variable here obj object is the variable here so in order to see the values what are the values 4 7 minus 5 3 so you give it as obj dot values it will show you all the values similarly if you want to see this values so you give obj dot index it will show you all the index understanding so this is the first method of creating a series okay so now adding index to the series in the come for the previous example i have already told you series will consist of array of data and index but here it is array of data no index is there so now i am going to add the index for this one so that is adding index to the series so for that i am taking it as same thing I am taking obj2 so obj2 is equal to series of series bracket open you give all the values comma index is equal to here you see you are defining your own index if you are not defined it will be index will be 0 1 2 3 defaultly it will be taken but if you want to specify any index of your own then you go with the index values so series of series comma index so when you print you will be getting d d index you are getting four b index you are getting seven a index you are getting minus five and c index you are getting three okay this is adding index to a series now extracting data by index now you are given the index what are the indexes d b a c now i am going to extract the values that is nothing but data okay extracting the data by index compared with regular numpy array we can use the values in the index when selecting single value or set of value for example see here what is in a series obj you are extracting the value from index so obj2 of d is equal to 4 obj2 of b is equal to 7 obj2 of a is equal to minus 5 obj2 of c is equal to 3 this will be the extracting so now you see i have given here obj2 of a what is obj2 of a 
a is at third location what is third location value it is minus 5 so obj2 of a is equal to minus 5 okay so now you, I, I am going to change it here here you see I'm giving obj2 of d is equal to 6 obj2 of d is equal to 6 so what is d d you are having 4 now I'm replacing it with 6 so now 6 has came and sit here so when I execute now you see now I am calling obj2 of obj2 of c a d you can extracting index extracting values from the index so I am giving the index as obj2 of c a d obj2 of c is minus 3 obj2 of a is minus 5 and obj2 of d is what is d value you have given d value is 6 so you will be getting it as 6 okay c is 3 a is minus 5 and d is 6 so this is extracting data by index understood so now you come for all this conversion process okay very very important one so you have to go through all these concepts it is very very need necessarily okay so for that i will be taking you so converting python dictionary to series okay so each and everything you are converting it into the series so which one you are considering dictionary so what is a dictionary in python so dictionary in python means a dictionary will consist of already i have told you in uh, python dictionary fundamentals so what the dictionary will consist of meanings of words so what is the answer meaning what is the question word okay so that word with the meanings word colon meanings is the dictionary so word we call it as key and meaning we call it as value key value pair will be the contents of dictionary okay so now we are containing a dictionary and you are converting it into the panda series so i will take a dictionary that is s data so what is this s data it is a dictionary name flower bracket open what is key oyo this is one key value pair so key value pair this one is another key value pair this one is another key value pair and this one is another key value pair so okay so now what is this so this is a dictionary dictionary is to be converted into into series so what so dictionary is s data so a series of s data means s data is being converted into series understand very carefully s data is a dictionary and that is given as input to convert it into series what is the question Diction convert dictionary to panda series okay dictionary is s data and uh, you are giving it as series of s data to object 3 so when you print object 3 you will get all the outputs okay so that is converting dictionary to panda series so changing series index okay so go for that particular previous where you give the index so go for that particular thing where you give the index here you have given so series of 4 7 minus 5 3 in place of index what is there here d b a c okay so now that d b a c i am going to change it to bob steve jeff and ryan okay so that i am taking it as obj okay so obj dot index is equal to bob steve jeff and ryan so when you give the output when you see the output of obj what you are getting now you see here in place of dbac you will be getting bob steve ryan jeff jeff ryan okay that will be the output here bob steve jeff ryan with all the values as it is so this is the changing the series okay in order to change what we give obj dot index okay so that is up to the series part okay so i already told you the first initially so you will be having first is series part next one is data frame part so series part i have told you all these concepts now you come for the next concept data frame 
okay so what is a data frame and anybody can tell data frame is a data structure as you know they are, you are learning pandas pandas is one of the python data structure okay so inside that in pandas there are two one is series the other one is data frame so what is the frame will consist of it will be in the form of the table which holds frame take the example of photo frame only so it will be in the form of a box inside that you will put all the values okay so here also frame is a data structure containing ordered collections of columns so containing ordered collections of columns so each column may have all type of values like uh, number numeric data string data boolean data but not boolean but number or string data frame has both row and column index keep in your mind you are having rows and columns inside columns will be the attributes inside rows will be the inside rows will be the values okay so now you come for the next concept creating a data frame so how you are going to create so how you create a series so you create a series by object name is equal to series of array of data comma index okay so similarly a pandas data frame can be created using various input first one is list second one is dictionary third one is series next you come for the numpy so these are the four methods very very important one okay so kindly look uh, all these topics before you come with this because you won't understand what is list what is dictionary if you don't know so numpy ndrs another data frame uh, but very important one is data frame can be converted can be created from list dictionary and series and also numpy array so these four are very very important so for now i will be starting with create an empty data frame okay how to create a data frame so how you create a series go for that particular example how you create a series so series of array of data comma index is equal to so you are not using anything here but here you see how you create so you first you have to import the pandas library so it should be done whether you go with a series or you go with a data frame first pandas should be there inside your program so how to make pandas available for our program by using import statement so import pandas as pd okay next what is the what is the thing you have to get you have to get data frame so keep in your mind it's a very very important concept required for job purpose as well as for your educational purpose understood so for that i will be taking df df is equal to pd dot data frame okay so the, here we are not giving anything else so it is empty because you are creating what empty data frame okay so pd dot data frame okay so print df so it will tell you column zero index zero that is it is a empty data frame now create a data frame from list how the list will be keep in your mind you are creating a data frame from list so what is the list so how you create the data frame from list so the first list should be there and that should be given as input for the data frame okay so list will be uh, represented with array brackets so now you see i have taken it as data so i have taken it as data data is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 this is a list because it is within array brackets now you are convert creating a data frame from list means nothing but converting list into data frame converting list into data frame so converting series from list what you will be giving series of list name so here also data frame of list name so see here this is pd dot data frame of data what is data that will be the input so this one is converted into data frame print of df it will print like this so see the output so zero so zero one two three four five 
what are the values you are having one two three four five what are this this is the index here you have not given any index so the index will be assigned automatically this is the index and this is the value understood so this will be the output next apart from that you can also create using this one in previous there is no column names just uh, column names means so column names i will tell you in the next coming thing here there is no column names column name is given as zero this one is index this one is values okay see this one two three four five is this one one two three four five this is the data and this one is index so come for the next one here we have not taken anything come for the example two so under example two i have taken like this so there are not taken individually i have taken it as alex comma 10 is one list bob comma 12 is the another list clark with 13 is the another list now you see so if you give the same thing df is equal to pd dot data frame of data what will happen you will be getting all the values with 0 1 2 understanding what i am telling pd dot data frame of data so it will give you alex with 10 bob with 12 clark with 13 with the index values 0 1 2 but if you can add the column names okay so column names can be given as columns is equal to name comma age so that will come in this particular space so columns can be given or may not be given but as if you have two values so here in previous the no two values only one value is there one two three four five but here you are having how many two values so that's why i have taken it as we can specify the column here there is a column like name and age so where is the column here can anybody can recognize where is the column here no you see here this is the column so what you are having the column zero so that will be the representation of this so where you will get the column where you have the data there you get the column so where is your data one two three four five is the data so there you are getting the column name as zero whereas zero one two three four is index so come for this example where is the data alex bob clark this is the data and 0, 1, 2 is the index and with the column names I am giving it as name comma age. So name will come here and age will come here. So this is by using columns. So take this example. So you can take example 2. It is same. This and this are same. There is no change. Now you come for the example 3. So what is the example three? Rather than data and columns, you can also specify the data type. So suppose here you see the data I have taken as Alex 10, Bob 12, and Clark 13. If you want to specify the data type, okay, you can specify D type is equal to float. But you see what are the values you have given here? 10, this one is 12, this one is 13. 10, 12, 13 or integer. But if you want to specify this in float, so what you will be giving? D type is equal to float. So now you see all the values here belongs to float. Okay. So the age parameter will change from integer to float. Understood? So come for the next one. So that is up to list. Okay, now you come for the next example. Create a data frame from dictionary of dictionary of NDRS or list. So what is a dictionary? So dictionary is a data structure which consists of set of values of key value pair, where key is the comes left and value will come right. In middle, you will be having a colon. So key, colon, value. So data you are creating from the dictionary. From dictionary, you are creating data frame. So keep in your mind, creating data frame from dictionary. Understood. So for that, all the NDRS must be of same length. If index is passed, then length of the index should be equal to length of the array. 
okay so that uh, nothing more if no index then by default index will be range of n okay so the index can be given if index is not there defaultly it will range from n where n is the array length so come for an example first what is to be there first a dictionary should be there and that dictionary has been converted into data frame so take the dictionary what is the dictionary data name okay name is the key with all its values inside the list name is the key so keep in your mind name key colon value what is key name is the key and what is uh, value so what you are giving inside the list everything should be the values similarly name is the key and all these are values okay so now this is the dictionary so dictionary is data so that data is to be converted into data frame for that you take it as pd dot data frame of data pd dot data frame of data so for that you see there is any index given no index so index will be automatically assigned use will be range of n so how many values you are having one two three four so uh, index will start from zero one two three each zero one two three so where it will go 28 34 29 42 so it will range from zero to three observe the value zero and three they are default index assigned using the function range of n okay defaultly these are the values you have not specified any index so these are the values you are getting okay so this is creating a data frame from dictionary work on this you will get understood so now you come for example okay so now i will give you first you take next you can give the index so here you see no index is there by defaultly the index will be given so that is using range of n so suppose if you want to give the index so how you give so first take the data same thing name with four values age with four values now i will while giving now you see here add the index so index can be added only for the data frame not for the, the dictionary so first you come with a data data comma index is equal to rank one rank two rank three rank four you can give any value but i have given like this okay so this is the index value when you print here you see so in place of 0 1 2 3 you are getting rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 and rank 4 index parameter assigns the index to each row this is assigning the index now so you have created you have created a data frame from dictionary okay so now you are creating a data frame from list of dictionary list of dictionary that means inside a list there is a dictionary so dictionary a list of dictionary how you give inside the array brackets you have flower brackets key colon value key colon value okay that will represent list of dicks so this is a list okay what is the list here we will go and see in the example so list of dictionary can be passed as a input device to create input device input data to create a data frame dictionary keys are by default taken as column names dictionary keys are default taken as column names keep in your mind when you pass a list of dictionary so dictionary names keys are by default taken as column names no column names here only the values will be the what is the case you are having a b a b c those will be the those will be the column names understanding so first example come for the data list of dictionary so this is data so list first you create a dictionary so this is one dictionary a colon one b colon two next take the another dictionary so this is another dictionary okay two dictionaries are there to make it list of dicks enclose a array bracket with opening and closing here understanding what what i told so take a dictionaries and place 
inside the array brackets that will make list of dictionary. So now data is a list of dictionary. Now I am going to convert that list into the data frame using the syntax pd dot data frame of data. What is data? Data is the list of dicks and that is being converted into data frame. And this data frame is supported by pd. What is pd? It is a pandas. Okay. So it is a toolkit. So print that will be stored in df. What is df? df is the data frame. So print of df. Now you see any index is given here. No index. So column names will be keys. What are the column keys? A, B. Here you are having A, B, C. So how many you are having? You are having totally A, B, A, B, C. So it will be A, B, C will be the keys and that will mark the column names. So come for values. So first list. So you take it as A1, B2. Are you having C? No. That's why you are getting it as N, A, N. Well, come for the second A5, B10, C20. Okay. So this will be the values you are going to see. So understood so its output will be like this you are not specifying any index so index if you want to specify you can specify it here after data comma index is equal to what you give here index is equal to rank one rank two the same thing can be given after this data also understood so this is creating a data frame from list of bits so now creating a data frame from dict of series so see here list of dicts. So list all kade dicts barate. Dict of series means dictionary all kade series barate. Oh, understanding. Dictionary of series. Dictionary of series can be passed to form a data frame. The resultant index is the union of all series index passed. This will be like that. Okay. So what will be the column names? Keys will be the column names. But in place of values, what you are having? So keep in your mind, date of series. So you have to go with the series. Series with index. So, so I will be giving like this. D is equal to 1 is the key. What is the value? In place of value, you have the series pd dot series bracket open first will be the data one two three next will be the index a b c this will be the thing next take the next uh, element that is two so similarly pd dot series first you have the values one two three four with the index a b c d understood so this will be the case so now i will take d is the dict of series so dict of series so where you get the series inside the value you will be placing the series so pd series of data comma index so df is equal to pd dot data frame of d so d is the dict of series and that is converted into data frame so print of df you see here so first column keys will be the column names what is the keys one and two one and two will come here okay so here index Index will be the, what are the index? Here you are getting ABC, here you are getting ABCD. So what are the index? So index will be the columns. So what are the index? index ABCD. So come for A. A you are getting 1. 1 you write it here. Next B you are getting 2. Write the 2 here. Keep in your mind you are writing inside 1. So it is inside. Here again it is inside 1. So A will get 1, B will get 2, C will get 3 and D is not their index here. In 1, D is not their the index so you will be having that. Similarly, here index for A you will get 1, B2, C3, D4. Observe for series 1 there is no label D but in the result for D, none is appended with none. Okay, so none is appended here. Now you come for the column selections. Okay. So now till now you have created each and everything. Understanding? 
till now you have created data frame from list data frame from list dict of list next data frame from previous one dict of series list of first one is creating data frame from dict of rs dict of list list of dicts and dict of series now you come for the next one column selection we will understand this by selecting a column from data frame so take this one as example the previous one i am taking here again if you want the column only one column column means keys so as you have taken this particular example it is a dictionary here keys will be the column names okay so column names is one and two so df is, suppose if you want only the one columns to be printed so what you give print df of one inside the array brackets you give it as one it will show you the what are all the values which are coming under one understood so now you come for the column addition so suppose if you want to add the columns so now you see what is to be done we will understand this by adding a new column to the existing data frame okay so already now you see now you see here you are taken one dictionary one series one comma two comma three index a comma b comma c okay similarly to df is equal to pd dot data frame of d now data frame is created okay so after the data frame is created now we are adding a new column okay so adding a new column means under one column you will get one under another column you will get two now you are adding a new column that is three okay so adding a new column so that is that is given as df df of three is equal to if you want to add a new column so what is to be done df of 3 is equal to pd dot series of give the all the elements so series of 10 comma 20 comma 30 index is equal to a b c okay so print df it will show you the output similarly adding a new column using existing columns using existing columns using how many columns now you have one is there two is there three is there suppose if you want to create a new column rather than passing series not giving series if you want to create a new using existing column you can take it as df of four is equal to df of one plus df of three so df of one plus df of three so that will be the adding a new column using existing columns so this is adding a new column without using existing columns so now you see adding a new column by passing so when you add a new column by passing now you see so one one two three a b c so you under a b c you are having one two three next comfort two so comfort two so under a b c d you are getting one two three four under a b c d you are getting one two three four now you come for three so three under ABC you are getting 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. Okay, this is, there is no D value. That's why you are getting none. So, but when you come for the next one, so adding a new column using existing columns. So DF of four, so DF four, four is the next one. And so four will be created using one plus three, using one plus three. So 4 is equal to 1 plus 3, 1 plus 10, 11, 2 plus 12, 22, 3 plus 30, 33. Okay, so like that it will be printing. Now column selection, column addition, now you come for the column deletion. Columns can be deleted or popped. Let us take an example. Okay, now I have taken this one. So you can delete using del or you can use pop. So what the del will do and what the pop will do, now we shall see. Using the previous data frame, we will delete the column using del function as well as using pop function. Now you see, 
So I have taken the this one series one, PD series two and three. Now first you are going to print the data frame of D. So our data frame is DF that will be printed here. Now using delete what will happen and using pop what will happen. So print deleting the first column using def. So df of which is the first column? One, second column, two, third column, three. So deleting the first column, you go with the syntax del df of one. So del df of one will delete the first column. Using del, you can delete anything. Okay. So print df. Similarly, if you pop, so what is the condition for pop? Pop will remove the most recently put that is the topmost element from the array so now deleting another column from pop df dot pop so see the so see you then you have to see the values okay so let's see what you will be getting once you delete this one row what you have created that the, this part will be deleted so but when you go with a pop which is the topmost element so whether it will be two or three, that one will be popped. Okay, deleting another column. DF dot pop of two. Okay, that will remove this particular two. So this is the uppermost part. After two, you are having three. So pop will remove. Default pop will remove the second element, topmost element. Once you remove one, which is the other one topmost, two will be the topmost element that will be removed. Now addition of rows. So now you have come for that deletion is finished. So addition is suppose if you want to add the values. Okay, suppose if you want to add the values, so what is to be done? Add new rows to the data frame using append function. Add new rows. Add new rows to the data frame using append function. So what is to be done? First take a df. So our data frame, one comma two, three comma four is the data. Okay, this is one list. This is what? List, you are creating a data frame from the list with the columns is equal to a comma b. Okay, so now I take df2. So df2 is equal to another frame. 5, 6, 7, 8 under column A and B. So now I give df dot append of df2. So that means you are adding the contents of df2, that is 5, 6, 7, 8 to the contents of A and B of df. So adding the contents of 5, 6, 7, 8 to df. So that will be given as df dot append of df2. So now uh, when you print for df, zero you will be getting one two so columns is equal to a b so under a b columns first you will get one two next you will get three four next you will get five six next you will get seven eight next slice rows so this is the next one so slice means part of the data you are taking okay so part of the data for that you see multiple rows can be selected using colon so import pandas as pd so d is equal to you give the same syntax one pd dot series so first you give the value with index a b c next you go with a two give the values one two three four with the index a b c d now i go with data frame so d is the dictionary you are having dictionary is to be converted into data frame so go with pd dot data frame of d so that will be stored in df so df of two comma four so start from two. So after two, before four. So what is the thing you are having? So after two. So A is under one. B is under two. After two, before four. So you will be getting C and D. This part. Okay. So what is C? It is three. Here C, three. And here D, four. So this is the part. So this is called as a slicing. As you all know, you can perform slicing. Next, you come for the, that is up to pandas. Now you come for the Python pandas input and output tools. 
okay so very very important concept this one also you are rather than giving the data you are storing all the data in the file and that you are going to retrieve all the values from the file so how you retrieve the data from the file now we shall see that so pandas io pandas has having the io api okay it is top or it is set of top level radar functions as is like pd dot read underscore csv that generally returns a pandas object pd dot read of csv so two functions for uh, reading text files are read underscore csv and read underscore table so if you are having the form of the table or if you store that um, file in the form of csv so csv means sorry it will be the form of csv in the form of the name excel format so data will be consisting of columns with the set of values okay so this is the syntax you can have pandas dot read underscore csv file separated with comma or slash d delimited info name and this is the syntax okay so this is how the csv file looks like so serial number one two three four name this much age ct salary save this data as temp dot csv and conduct operations on it so save this data as temp dot csv and conduct operations okay so take a notepad file store all this data and save it in temp.csv okay so once you save it in temp.csv now you are going to work on that particular thing so first read of csv so first operation reads the data from csv file and creates a data frame object so that we are taking it as read pd dot you are taking each and every time you are taking it as pd dot data frame but now you are taking it as read underscore csv of file name so it will show you all the contents with column names but indexes and only given okay so now that is up to now python pandas okay so now let's create a data frame and use the object throughout this chapter for all the operations now you see create a dictionary so dictionary i have given name so under name i have given so many values okay next key value is age and what are their values so many values next you have gone with the rating as the key with all its values okay now i will create a data frame so pd dot data frame of d so it will give you all these values okay so this is one example second now you go with the sum so take the same thing pd dot data frame df dot sum so age it will show you name it will show you all the names place together rating it will show you the total value okay so now you confirm the mean same value df dot mean so whatever the dictionary you are taking so place it in data frame and you have that function so the first you have gone with the creating a data frame then you have gone with the df dot sum now you are going with df dot mean so how you calculate the mean it's left to you so it will give mean can be calculated only for the integer data but if you give for uh, all the entire data frame d d value it will only calculate for age and rating understood next similarly standard deviation for age and rating understood work um, work on all this so next you come for the summarizing data so display function computes a summary pattern into data frame column so when you go with the describe it will show tell you what is name whether it is integer tag or float so what they see in age where what type of data it is containing it is of age similarly rating what type of value it is containing it will describe the summary of statistics so that you will see in the end part so see here what is the entire summarize so it will calculate for all the values it will calculate count mean standard deviation mean 25 percent 50 percent 100 percent max this function is the mean standard and iqr and function excludes the character columns and given summary about numeric columns understood so now comes at the last one python concatenation so concatenation first i go with a one 
So one file is data frame we have taken with the index value and two with the data frame we have taken with the index value. Finally, I'm going to give pd dot content of one comma two. So after one comma two, so it will show you all the contents of one and followed by all the contents of two. So this will be the Python pandas concatenation. So after here, we have gone with the, all the concepts of uh, Python pandas. So now we shall work on each and every concepts and understand. I hope you people have understood all these concepts, right? So work on this and learn the concepts and be Pythonic. Okay, so hope when you got understood all the concepts. So I will be ending this particular session. So kindly subscribe if you are uh, very interested for many more Python uh, concepts I will be discussing uh, and also machine learning. Kindly subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button at the end of the video. Okay, so I will be stopping this uh, recording. Thank you one and all.